what were you arguing about on the way jesus asked this question in the gospel of this 25th sunday to his disciples sisters and brothers the disciples of jesus were embarrassed when he asked them such a question they were discussing which one among them was the greatest even as jesus talked about his own necessary suffering and death they were concerned about their own issues in the gospel of this 25th sunday jesus foretells his imminent suffering death and resurrection the first time when jesus announced his death and suffering peter rebuked jesus this time we are told that they did not understand the saying and they were afraid to question him unfortunately in, instead of reflecting on what jesus was saying his disciples were busy quarreling secretly over who was the greatest of course their argument was aimed at the earthly government they imagined that christ had come to establish so like the community that james wrote to jesus disciples were experiencing a conflict of interest as they journey to kafarnaum the disciples argued amongst themselves about who was the greatest we know clearly they are prideful let us remember that pride is one of the seven deadly sins the efforts to do our best as christians is to open ourselves to the gifts that god has given us and use them in the way that god calls us to serve others jesus tells us very clearly that the greatest among us should serve others our goal should not be to be first but the servant of all this is what we are called to be as god's children this is the natural order that god has set before us st james writes where jealousy and self ambition exist there is disorder and every foul practice this is what we often see in any society church family and indeed anywhere that a personal ambition is considered more important than anything else there we see fighting gossips indifference aggression threats to lives and properties hatred and all sorts of vices all these come at the expense of the common good and peaceful coexistence wherever these exist there can be no progress prosperity and peace therefore by using a child as an example for us today jesus is simply teaching us that we have to become like children in order to be great this does not mean being childish rather it means being child like it means that we have to live our lives in humble service to god and to one another if our personal goals are based on selfish ambition we are going down the wrong path as st james went on to write where do the wars and where do the conflicts among you come from is it not from your passions that make war within your members glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed Sunday.